Hi, photo class. Uh, we're entering the final two weeks of our course. Uh, this is week seven, and I want to introduce our next long assignment, which is long four. Um, make note of uh, your last short assignment that's going to be coming in, and then I'm going to round out the course by doing another peer review at the very end. Um, so, uh, long four is going to be titled Document a Stranger, Create a Stranger. This uh, assignment is in two parts, basically shooting and uh, editing and presenting onto your WordPress, WordPress page, uh, assignment page. Uh, there are some specifics here I'll go through. And then um, I'll mention that with the assignment, there are going to be uh, some links to um, explanations and discussions about shooting in raw format, going a little bit more in depth with the format of shooting raw files with your camera, which we've been doing a little bit of, and I, I haven't delved too technically into, but uh, I uh, gave another raw uh, format uh, workflow video uh, that I go step by step uh, taking your images that are shot in raw through bridge and then editing those images to create a final uh, presentation photo for printing or for uh, presenting online. Now, your first part is going to be due uh, week seven, day three, and so that's a, a week from today, next Sunday. Uh, that will be uh, shooting a minimum of 150 images in raw format, and I've given a link to a demo video that I just spoke of. Now, 150 images is arbitrary. That uh, number right there is generally to give you uh, a breadth of photos to work with and to be thinking in in terms of a series or a collection of images that you then uh, edit down to or edit down from in order to um, be more concise and more uh, cohesive. Now 150 images again is arbitrary. You can shoot more if you'd like of course um, and obviously if you shoot less uh, you uh, we'll have less to edit down from. Now, for uh, part two, uh, that's going to be uh, due uh, during our final week on Thursday. So I'm, I'm making this a little bit of a longer assignment. This uh, final part of the project will be uh, creating a final edit to seven to ten images and posting those on your WordPress page. Now, included with this final assignment, I want you to also um, ha do a little bit of writing about the work. Uh, not very long, but I want you to answer these three things. So in a description of your idea on your assignment page, I'd like you to think about um, describing for me the, the method of your project. Uh, method being, um, how did you go about doing this? Uh, did you approach people? Did someone, uh, uh, did you create a, uh, a scenario that uh, was conducive for finding uh, or documenting or finding a stranger um, and so forth, so on and so forth? Uh, that I'll describe that a little bit more in depth when I go through uh, some examples in a minute here. So uh, method will be something, the first part that I'd like you to describe. Um, I'd like you to uh, describe your techniques, so um, not just uh, what camera you're using, or are you shooting in color, or uh, did you use a tripod or not, but uh, trying to get a little bit more in-depth and thinking about uh, time of day or location um, and certain strategies for how you might uh, find these photographs. And then Thirdly, I'd like you to be thinking about the question or questions you want to answer uh, by making this work. So in presenting 
um, the the project in the way that you've uh, approached it, uh, what kind of questions did you maybe um, seek to answer through taking the photographs? Uh, in this case, I've given you a little bit of a, a parameter uh, in terms of the assignment being uh, directed by documenting a stranger or creating a stranger. So uh, I understand that there are some restraints, but I want you to think about um, uh, art and, and photography as a general process of working through visually how to answer questions you might have about the world. Now, you will create a portrait of a person using strategies of both documentary and fiction. Combine elements of unrehearsed, intuitive shooting with planned, constructed, directorial image making. Through a sequence and or arrangement of photographs, tell a story of this person. Now, to describe this a little bit more in depth, what I just said, I want to be clear that when I say document a stranger, this can be a complete stranger to you, uh, literally, or I'm open to the idea of you creating a stranger. And so that, that stranger that you create through a series of photos can be completely fictitious. It doesn't have to be a, 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 a stranger to you, uh, literally, but someone that you're creating. Uh, to elicit the idea of stranger or be thinking about uh, what stranger means. Now, uh, I'd like you to possibly think about who this person is, what do they look like, what do they do, where do they live, why are they interesting. These might be some of the questions that you ask in telling a story about this person. Uh, again, these are just some uh, suggestions and you might do more or less than that. So you're going to turn in a minimum of 150 images, um, or sorry, shoot a minimum of 150 images, and you're going to select a minimum of 7 to 10 images uh, to create a compelling portrait of this person. That's what you're going to post to your WordPress. Um, text can be employed uh, as part of this presentation, meaning you can use uh, titles, you can use captions, if you feel like you're going to use text directly in the images, um, I would uh, suggest being um, cautious just because language can be uh, very powerful and kind of dominant. Um, but I'm, I'm not at all opposed to it either. Um, and the I want, though, if you do use text, I want the, the images to carry uh, most of the narrative weight of uh, the meaning of the work rather than relying too heavily on the the text or uh, some kind of language in and of itself. All right, now um, to move on from there we're going to go into some examples and uh, hopefully uh, illustrate the project a little bit more through um, examples as a way to uh, be a little bit more specific as to what I'm looking for because I I know right off the bat that this can be very open-ended um, one last thing though I wanted to uh, parse this section out in my description of the project now you might combine elements of unrehearsed meaning you just go out into the world with a camera and you find a stranger and nothing's been planned or rehearsed and you're going uh, just seeking out what might happen. Um, you might feel like uh, an extension of that or, or taking it a little out of um, just completely unrehearsed would be a little bit more intuitive with a little bit of planning like you know exactly where you're going to go maybe you're going to um, situate yourself on a specific corner because uh, you're looking for strangers in a certain area um, you might uh, shift from there and come up with a method of um, taking photographs that are constructed completely so you're setting up a stage for something and creating a scenario that's uh, you're, you have an image in your head of what you're looking for already. Now, and the, the last of that would be kind of a directorial image making, uh, kind of like acting as a film director where everything is very scripted, storyboarded, 
and uh, you're just um, putting the uh, parts and pieces together to make that image. I'm going to give a few examples here that I think are good examples uh, for us to look at. I'm not going to go through the YouTube version of this, but this is a, uh, an artist named Richard Rinaldi, and he has a uh, project he calls Touching Strangers. And what he does uh, is he goes out into the world. He's um, actually someone who uh, lives in New York City, goes out on the street, and seeks out people uh, that he sees out in public that he doesn't know, um, he hasn't met before. And he tries to bring these people together and um, pose for him as a photographer. So he has a, a large format camera. Um, he, he's clearly presenting himself as an artist and a photographer to these people. And in dialogue, um, talking to them about this uh, project or this idea that he has about bringing people together who don't know each other, who are complete strangers, and have them somehow touch or be um, posed in kind of an intimate way. Um, I'm going to kind of go through some of these artists uh, relatively quickly so you get a, a breath of um, some of these examples. This is uh, an artist named uh, Sophie Cal, um, or Kaye, I think. Um, I'm not exactly certain, but she's a French artist. Uh, she's a, a, a photographer who uh, has kind of pushed the boundaries of what um, might be considered photography and also questionably things that are um, teasing out some of the ethics in photography. So uh, in the image above here, or this series right here, you'll see um, what looks like someone being followed and then that person kind of confronting the camera person. Now, the way that these images came about is that Sophie Kell uh, was at an art opening and had met this gentleman um, and, and through dialogue this gentleman had uh, described that he was going on vacation the following week to uh, Florence, I believe, to Italy. And so Sophie Cal decided that she would, without um, telling him, follow him there and take this series of photographs until um, he, he noticed her. Now, uh, I'll go through her work and explain some of what I think it's about. So this series here, this uh, cluster of images, um, is uh, a series of images of her... Uh, she hired her mother to take photographs of her um, via a private investigator. So she asked her mother to hire a private investigator to take photographs of her at times that were unbeknownst to her. So you'll notice that the photographs are all um, kind of positioned and uh, they're in portrait mode here, but they all have this air of what looks like someone being surveyed. Um, or, or surveilled. Now, uh, this cluster of uh, image, or this this image right here, these two framed images, and uh, grid of photographs. She, uh, Sophie Cal again, uh, got a job as a uh, hotel maid, and before she would clean a room, she would go in and photograph uh, the rooms. In, in the state that the uh, guests had left it, and then she would write a narrative uh, about who or how she felt about those people. Uh, moving on, this is a, a Japanese artist who did a series where she wrote letters to people that she would put in their mailbox detailing uh, that she would uh, be taking a photograph outside of their front window that was facing the street, um, she would photograph from the street, and she would let them know that she was going to be taking that photograph at a date and time, and that if they were interested in participating, uh, she asked that they leave the blinds open and stand for 10 minutes while she photographed. And then she would never um, meet them, or they would uh, remain strangers. Uh, some people, if they didn't want to participate, she said, just please close your blinds. And so she had a series of photos of some people in there posing, some um, clearly maybe didn't uh, remember and left the blinds open and weren't there, or the blinds were shut. 
Uh, this is much more of a documentary style of this uh, project, more traditional photojournalism. This is a um, artist named um, W. Eugene Smith. He's a. Uh, this is a series called The Country Doctor that he did for Life magazine, and he followed a, a doctor around. Um, he famously would not um, load any film into his camera for the first uh, two weeks of um, sometimes or more, uh, just to desensitize his subjects to the sound of his camera. And then he would start loading film. And so often he seemed to be able to capture images of people, uh, as if he wasn't actually even there. Uh, this is an artist named Walker Evans. I think I maybe spelt his name wrong there. Uh, Walker Evans, and he did a series called The Passengers hidden camera on the New York subway. This is kind of, um, I believe in the uh, uh, 30s and 40s, um, where he, he's photographing people without their knowledge from a, a camera that I think he has hidden in his coat. Uh, this is a series by an artist named John uh, Shables, who uh, photographed people uh, in airplane windows. It's called Passengers. It's a very beautiful series of photographs. Uh, this is an uh, article that I linked to saying, saying um, you'd be arrested if you tried to take these airplane photos today. It's a, a funny article about how um, the, the politics of photography have changed dramatically since this uh, photo series was done. And this series is an, an artist named Peter Funk, who uh, stood outside Grand Central for nearly a, a decade photographing the daily rituals of commuters. Every day he would stand outside for an um, hour uh, and photograph the same corner. And uh, you'll see people who repeat over and over in this photo series. And very similarly, this guy Hans um, is a Dutch artist who uh, would photograph people for an hour on a corner and in specific areas where there's a lot of commerce and capture people and their fashion. He called them um, sheeples, uh, people who uh, would uh, mimic one another. <laughs>